Tony and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a part 2 to my Tinny the Versicolor video. Um, if you haven't seen my part 1 I'll link it down below and somewhere in the video. So for today's video I'm just going to be talking about what I've done to get rid of my Tinny the Versicolor and also I'm going to talk about the other solutions that people have mentioned on my last video um, as other solutions to get rid of Tinny the Versicolor. So for those that haven't seen the first video, um, just a brief recap of what Tinny the Versicolor is. Tinny the Versicolor is little dots that people can get over their body. Mine are on my back um, where my bra strap is and then there was a few on my lower back and they also have gone up my neck before and come up onto my neck and onto my chest. So I'll link a photo of my before and my after shot of how my progress with Tinea Vista Colour has been going. So one of the questions that was asked was um, whether it was itchy or not and no, it's not itchy. I think though some people can find it itchy. Um, also, Tinea Vista Colour is also more likely to occur in hot, humid areas. Um, and so when it's summer, normally my, my Tinea Vista Colour sparks up again and gets more, more dominant on my skin. So some of the other things that other people have mentioned to use as a solution for getting rid of Tinea Vista Colour is apple cider vinegar and I guess that's just taking a glass of it. I'm not too much I'm not too sure on apple cider vinegar, but I do know that it has multiple health benefits to it. So even if you're just taking it to try to get rid of it, you'll be benefiting from other multiple you'll be benefiting from multiple other health benefits from apple cider vinegar. Um, another solution was baking soda. I didn't really look into this one, but apparently you can just Google search it Tinny Visicolor and baking soda and it'll come up with a video on how to use that. Another solution was coconut oil which um, I haven't tried <laughs> that, I don't know why. Um, coconut oil is very lovely on the skin, it feels amazing. Um, so yeah, I think I should try that because I actually haven't tried that, I don't know why. <laughs> and this is a big one, um, changing your diet and changing your diet and trying to go gluten free. Um, this can have multiple health benefits on you and it's going to make you healthier. Um, lots of people actually are allergic to gluten and they don't know it. Even if you reduce back on your gluten, you will see some benefits. And I know that there is a video on a few, I know there are a few Tinea Versa Colour videos out there um, where people talk more in depth about going gluten free, so you can check those out. And the last solution was to use Salsun Blue. And now I've tried, this is my second bottle of this, so this is the second time I'm trying it around. Um, I don't like it, it's never worked for me. So although that some people are saying that it does work for them, it might work for some people and might not work for others, but I just find that it doesn't work. I've just tried it so many times and I just find it a time waster. So yeah, you can always try that out, but I can't guarantee you anything that it's going to work. It might for some, might not for others. I also got told not to put um, oil on my back because that's what Tinea Versa Colour likes and thrives on. However, the oil that I've been using, which is oregano, I don't know if you can see that, it's just an essential oil um, and I just use a carrier oil and massage it onto my back. Oregano oil is actually an antifungal, antibacterial and antiparasite um, agent, so it is actually really good for Tinea Versicolor because Tinea Versicolor is actually a fungal infection in the skin, so that technically should help. So what I've been doing to get rid of my Tinea Versicolor is um, in about April I was home and I was getting my mum to massage some oregano oil with a carrier oil onto my back. I was getting her to do that every night um, for about two weeks and we saw huge results. It started reducing so 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 much and it was just quite incredible how fast it was going. However, I've come home and since then um, haven't really got around to massaging this back onto my skin. But I have replaced it with these wild oregano um, soft gel pills. So it's just a little pill like this and it's just a soft gel capsule and it's got the oregano oil inside and you just pretty much just do that and um, you can drink it with water but um, yeah just kind of swallow them and um, I try to have one a day sometimes I do forget. I wouldn't say that it's better than oil, the oil is definitely better but the pills um, help to maintain and just slowly, at a slow pace, get rid of the Tinea Versicolor. So I haven't fully got rid of mine, but I'm, mine are at um, a very faded color where I'm comfortable with them and I don't feel self-conscious about them at all. I'll always have them, they'll always come back. So I've just kind of gotten, I've just kind of gotten used to that fact and 
um, grow and to accept them. You can also take the oil um, orally as well. So what you do is you just um, put a drip under your tongue. However, um, however, I would never do it again. I did it once and it literally burned. It is part, oregano is part of the mint family. So it is a very strong essential oil and I couldn't handle it. I was too weak for that. Um, I know some people can do it. So um, if you prefer to do that, you can do that. Or you can buy the little capsules and these were only $17 I think which to me was really cheap and it helps and it's also got multiple other benefits so it's not just helping your Tenevis of colour, it's great for your immune system um, so you're getting multiple benefits out of that as well. So anyway that's today's video, I hope that you guys all enjoy and I hope that you guys found a solution possibly from this video. Um, if you do have any comments, questions or concerns or more solutions, feel free to link the, um, comment them down below. If you want to find more solutions, check down the comments below because I'm sure that someone's commented down there. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I shall see you guys next week. See ya!